welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's topic, a step sequencer. Step sequencer allows us to experiment with our own music, our own choices and new fresh uh, possibilities. We are going to look into our perspective and music composition from that angle. And in the end of the day, we are going to experience something new. Let's get started. How can I describe a step sequencer? We take our steps to sequence things. Sequence means repetition. You sequence certain steps. For example, if I have four quarter notes per measure, I could sequence them in a certain way. Now, quarter note could be divided by two eight notes, two eight notes by four sixteen notes. And now we've got the whole picture of the step sequencer, which means we can sequence eight no four notes per quarter note. So since we have four quarter notes per measure in a 4-4 time signature, we end up having 16, 16 notes per measure. Now we can very easily manipulate those and uh, organize them in a way we want. The time will never change. So the time signature will continue and the time frame will follow. Now, wherever you put in those slots of 16 um, sequencer, we end up basically hearing a certain result, right? So the idea is to manipulate that result over and over again until we feel like we we come up with some kind of solution or discover certain things. So we love this step sequencer for that reason, because you see, I can always play something on the piano. I can always compose music, but sequencer gives us this laboratory of excitement, what you cannot predict. You understand? Sometimes you're going to end up with something spectacular. And sometimes you are going to have absolutely nothing. You understand? It's like fishing. We would like to embrace that sequencer the way we think. So now I'm following my pathway and I and I'm thinking, you know, the sequencing the, the beats, it's a beautiful thing, no problem, but it's not my thing, you understand? Uh, the harmony movement, it's everything to me and how I pursue it. Now, I would love to use that step sequencer in a way that um, embraces the acoustic instrument. So today we are choosing a Stanway Grand Piano. Right now we are dealing with the only one sequence. Of course, we can access many different sources where the sound comes from. We are going to concentrate today on plugins. We are going after the sound of piano. Plugin what we are about to choose comes from that acoustic stage piano. Stanway Grand.
All right. It would be nice if we uh, increase the level of that instrument. Of course, we can change the amount of uh, heart and soft attack, the reverb. So we've got this sound. Once we have the, the sound figured out, we can go to Step Sequencer. The way I see them organized, they look like this. Quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Okay? Now, we could think about first 16 note, second 16 note, third, fourth. You've got one quarter note per measure. Second quarter note, third, and fourth. So this is one way of seeing it. Another way of seeing it is just quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Then 16, 16, 16, it's a second pile, third and fourth. So depending what works for you, you're going to choose. Now, I could very easily plus record and play something on the piano. As you see, you see only one node, what I just played. We just played the music using the keyboard. Now, I can do the same thing by using the pads. When it comes to the pads, I could do the same thing. We go to main. Now I can use the pads to express the piano sound as well. I can record the damn thing. But it doesn't change anything about our performance. We sound like the usual stuff what we record all the time. It's kind of it goes against that step sequencer because I'm supposed to discover new things about the music. So now we will have to embrace that steep step sequencer in a slightly different way. When I go to step sequencer, I can't hear anything, even though we create the notes. When I play them, they appear. They, I couldn't hear them earlier. Let's try it again. Look, I can hit some steps in that sequence. We've got a sequence of two bars. Right now we took care of the first one. I click the plus at the bar uh, strip and then I can continue with the second bar. Then we can hear it once again. But if I play, play start. Okay, of course we can take care of the dynamics. Okay. Excellent. You see, we used that um, that part to express that note. I hit step sequencer. Now I'm gonna hit path selection. We are going to t type one note at the time into the sequencer. 
I interview the notes I want. I can use the pads. I can use the keyboard. Okay, so the idea is to come up with some kind of melodic part pattern would make sense. Now, once you find something you like, you hit the note you want to record. I select the note I want to type in. This note will manifest three times in the second bar, two times in the first one. I'm going to take care of the dynamics and hit play start. Our screen is going to show us only one measure per time. So just be aware that sometimes you're going to hear the notes, but not see them. Excellent. So this is the first note. Now, pad selection is still on. Let's record this note. As you see, my previous notes disappeared. You see? These notes are not... visible. So now I'm going to place this note in different spots. That's the second bar. Let's see how it sounds like. I will take care of the dynamics and once again I want to start very gentle. So now we are dealing with the relationship between the first note and the second note. So they fool around with each other. Now, let's introduce... Okay, makes sense. Now third one. Okay, so look, we've got first note, second, third, fourth. Let's add some more notes.
Radio Eurofo. This is bar one to two. Let's do the same here on the third bar. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So now let's roll back the drum set, step sequencer. Let's add some other parts. Let's concentrate on this. Uh, bar one. Hmm. Stage. Two, three, bar three. Tuku, 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 tuku. We can always take something out, no problem. And bar four, of course, it's like a yeah, strong ending. Let's interview. Okay. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unfortunately, I have to do it again over here, over here, and over here. So, what, what it does. What this step sequencer does to our production, you see, we've got, this is a big laboratory. I have no idea of upcoming results. Now, uh, they are not permanent. Every single node we just created, it's totally movable. I can move them and delete them, make them louder, smaller. Um, so I can influence so many different aspects of that performance. This is perfect. So let's just add the symbol. One, two, one. Tap, 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 tap. See what happens. Doesn't make sense. One, two, and three, and four, and. Let's do the same towards mm -hmm. second bar, third, I like it, and fourth. Let's just do this one over here. Third bar. And now coming to an end.
Here we go. Beautiful. So the thing is shaping very well. We used step sequencer two ways now for the drum set and now for the melodic uh, the rhythmic uh, pattern with the acoustic piano. Okay. If we decide to add additional additional um, sound and go for something like um, uh, electric piano. So the first co chord is a C minor seven, and I'm gonna change it. Something like that. from the top. There we go. Again. time for a chord to bass. Okay, so now I want you to take a look where we started. We started with this uh, piano pattern build in step sequencer. We already start falling in love with our step sequencer. This is just the beginning. Our goal is to create a series of videos related to that topic. Test it against any sound we can possibly find. We are looking forward to create more video content for you related to the subject. Stay tuned for more.
My name is Piotr Kowalczyk. See you next time.